Hey guys, it's Miss Hampton. We're going to talk about some different models that you're going to see with decimal division today. So go ahead and take the next page in your math notebook, title it decimal division models, and then we're going to just scooch it out of the way. I'm going to put a whiteboard down. You guys don't need a whiteboard. Just so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to work on today modeling the problem uh, 1 and 23 hundredths divided by 3. Okay, first thing that we're going to use is money, because everybody loves money. You get money. So I'm going to get out my totally real dollar and 23 cents. Okay, if I wanted to split this, since division is like splitting into equal groups, into three equal groups, I can't really do that with um, a dollar 23. So I'm going to take this dollar and I'm going to kind of just like split it into dimes. So um, let's see, how can we do this? Uh, all right, dollar 23. Still a dollar, just made it out of dimes instead. Okay, so we're going to split this into um, four, or sorry, three equal groups. I'm going to draw three groups for myself and start splitting it. So I'll take dime, dime, dime. It's 10 cents each. Dime, dime, dime. Got some more dimes I can split up. Dime, dime, dime. Oh, how handy. Three more dimes. Nice. So the dimes all split evenly and now I have these three pennies. I have three groups. So each group will get a penny too. Now I can look for my solution if I have a total of $1.23 and I split it into three equal parts, then the answer would be how much is in each group. So this tells me it's 10, 20, 30, 41 cents or 41 hundredths. We can always and should always check our, multi our division with multiplication. Um, so since we know how to do that, we kind of do that down here at the side. Do that times three and I should get my $1.23 that I started with, which so handy, I do. Nice. Okay, I got another type of model for you, this time with place value blocks. All right, we're gonna do the same problem, just for simplicity. We'll do 23 divided by three. We already know it equals 4100, so let's see if we can model that this way too. All right, so we have one whole and 23 hundredths. Hmm. If I want to split this into three equal groups, can't do that with this whole either. Let's see. No. Let's see what goes on here. Nice! Now they're tenths. So it's still the same amount. This is still one whole. I have one whole and 23 hundredths. But now I can split it into three equal groups. So we'll kind of pull these to the side again. I want three groups. So one, two, three groups. We're going to hang out a little bit. All right, so I'm going to start taking my tenths and splitting them up group. I still have more, so let's do it again. Still have more. Let's do it again. Still have more. And now I have my little onesies left, just like I had my pennies left when I did mine. And I end up with 10, 20, 30, 40, 1 hundredths, just like before. So one, 1 and 23 hundredths split into three groups gave me 41 hundredths in each group. All right, it is time for you to pull your notebook back over. We are gonna do the same problem, since you already know the answer. All right, we're gonna do the same problem. You can draw these if you want, or go grab some from your teacher, these little models. Um, we wanna shade in, so you can use a highlighter, a pencil, whatever, it's not gonna be like it was with multiplication models. We're gonna shade in so it kinda looks like the place value blocks that we did. So I'm gonna shade in um, one hole, going to be all of this one. And 23 hundredths. So 20 and then 3. Okay. So on the model, what you'll see is it's going to have um, all of these split into three groups, just like we did with our with our place value blocks and with our money. So I'm going to write the problem. 1 and 23 hundredths, and we want to divide it into three equal parts. Okay, so if I know I have a total of 123 little hundredths, I'm going to split those up into three equal groups. We already know that that's 41, so I'm going to kind of circle up in my first group. 10, 20, 30, 41 is going to be my first group. So you might see it like this. That could be my first group. Oops, I'm outside a little bit. 
My second group is going to be another 41. So 10, 20, 30. There's 39. Wait, yeah, 39, 40, 41. third group should be the last 41. So 10, 20, 30, 38, 39, 40, 41. So that's the last group. Let's squish these together. Okay. So when you're looking at these models, you guys are going to have to um, kind of tell which model is going to match the problem. So I'm looking for this number is going to be my total. This is what you start with, it's how much you're splitting into groups. So if this model that I have right here has a total of 1 and 23 hundredths shaded, it's not how many are in each group, it's the total amount. And then I'm going to split it into three parts, so this would be the number of groups. So I have three groups here, and then the answer, the quotient, is always going to be the amount in each group. So since I know that there are 10, 20, 30, 41 hundredths in each group, say number in each group. Okay. All right, guys. You got it. It's got rain. <laughs>